celebrating. I felt so pimpish, I busted out my gold that I don't wear that often. So, three, four years ago, when I first moved up here, Bear jumped up with his big heavy paw. He kind of, he bent the clasp on my, on my gold chain. And then the same thing happened like two weeks later on the matching bracelet. It's all Cuban link type shit. So I had it put away because uh, I want to take it to a jeweler to have it reinforced, both of them. Because the little ring that connects the clasp is on the thin side. It's a set I bought about five years ago when I was making 50 bucks an hour on that contract job. Went down uh, downtown Miami to uh, I'm a Jewish uh, golden diamond place. But they buzz you in with the doors, you know, all like. And I don't know, I think all in when the set's about four. 4500 I guess. You know, not cheap. It's nice gold. It's uh, 18 karat, I think. I was like, cool, I got my little pimp gold, you know. Not like my buddy Jody with his big, thick-ass gangster chains with diamonds worth about 50 grand. But you wouldn't catch me wearing that shit out in public, even with a gun. <laughs> but uh, I'm feeling pimpish after that order, so I threw on some of my bling. So, yeah, dude, that V7, it's really nice. Now, what I don't know is well, something is that light. I mean, the Murr, you know, that thing's a tank, bulletproof, right? Uh, now, I have a V7 standard upper on build 1.0 that I made it with the spikes lower. It is what it is. It's all painted to match now. So there's no point trying to change it. Uh, so, basically... My only thought, and I did a lot of research on V7. It's really respected. All you snob dudes, man, you know, you rock it. I don't know if it's at radiant level or, you know, or LMT level, but it's it's up there. Especially their higher level 7075 shit. But when you feel the weight of that thing, I mean, compared to the Murray, it feels like it's less than half the weight. But I'm wondering, what's the overall longevity when you're putting those things under load and the pressures are built up and shit? You know, but from everything I saw, it, it's a good call. And I only really pulled the trigger on the V7 because they had that combo at Capable Citizen with the EPC. And I've, you know, for the last year and a half or so, I mean, I've, I got my EPCs. I was happy, but I've wanted that double dimp ODG since the first, since I started drooling over them. Every drop, I'd get cart sniped, and or I'd be a. Uh, 30 seconds too late, and it happens so many times, you just get bummed out. You're like, I want one, but I can't get one, it sucks. So I saw this on Capable Citizen, they still hadn't sold out, and I was like, you know what? I did some research on the V7. I was like, I'm gonna go for it, fuck it. Because V7 wasn't my first choice on the upper. I was gonna, I was looking at a foliage mer. Uh, I did a search for radiant uppers, but good luck finding anything radiant. I mean, if it's not a Raptor, it's really hard to find those. You can go on Gunbroker and pay a fortune, but fuck that. But yeah, good day, good day. Really stoked. Oh, there's Nick. We're talking about more trades now. What a dick! He sent me a picture of a nice Microtech, and I was like, "Ooh, what you, it's not ODG, but what are you thinking?" I don't know. Now <laughs> he's like, "I'm just teasing you, man. I, I'd never sell that." He's like, "Okay, thanks." And I was like, "Uh." Oh, you're a dick. And it wasn't ODG, it's black. But I was like, oh, man. You know, still want a Microtech. I love my Cobra Techs. Those are knives I don't mind carrying around because they're 85 to 100 bucks a shot, which, you know, it's not cheap. You can get $20 knives. They seem pretty well made, my Cobra Techs, to be honest. I'm sure the Microtech is much better steel, holds its sharpness much better. Uh, just overall, it's a better quality knife I, I get that but but yeah when i do get one it's going to be that i looked at an odg one <coughs> about 375 ish nice odg uh and then i was it's back when i first started i sold all the guns and i had this money right and then i kind of backed off i had it in the cart I was going to process and order. I was like, fuck it, let's get a Microtech and shut those bastards up. No, Microtech, bitch. But I kind of backed off. I almost hit uh, uh, process a few times on that. But then I said, hold on. I kept backing myself off. I said, don't make rash choices. Figure out your game plan. 
And then I kind of fell into the whole, let's do the Radian thing. And I don't regret it, but I still want an ODG Microtech <coughs> at some point. Just to have one. They're cool. I have a safe to put it in now, so I feel better. It's not just scattered around stuff in a room that somebody can break in and steal from the home. So, yeah. Good day. Good day. Flex on the Pours beer. Only having a few. Don't want to get uh, tipsy. No, I want to go. I don't think I'm, I'm not going to do anything build wise tonight. I want to get the radium, get all the parts together, assess it. You know, I mean, I could build the upper tonight. No, it's not a problem, but I uh, kind uh, of want to hold off. Like I said, I'm not in a rush. I want to enjoy it. I want it to, feel, I want it to be perfect. And uh, it's getting later in the day. I've had a couple beers. I don't want to make any mistakes. So, you know, patience, grasshopper, patience. So yeah, all right. So tomorrow is uh, is it's, it's Radiant Day. I haven't checked my phone all day to see if we got delayed again. Hopefully not, but hopefully that little bastard shows up, and then we'll just get everything together. I'll do a video on. Uh, a build plan approach. Um, I have that now. I I'm glad I have that uh, four controls castle nut wrench, but I realize I still need the. He has a wrench for uh, for the for the muzzle devices as well, right? I'm not too worried about that one, but I kind of want to get all the FCD tools. He had a vortex. Uh, inch pound torque wrench on his website for 89 bucks the vortex branded i'm wondering how much better that is it more precise because my fat wrench what was that 40 bucks they sell it digital i kind of want to get that because i find the analog if you're going from 10 to 11 12 it's a bit of a, a guessing game you know 10 if you do increments of five it's, it's not a big deal but when you're in that middle range after what happened with the Masada, I want to be extra, especially handgun shit. ARs are more forgiving. You're doing a castle nut. You're doing a, a barrel nut. You know, you go over a couple of pounds, five pounds. It's not going to hurt anything. The range 35 to 80 pounds, you know, you keep hearing that. So as long as you keep it within a 40 to 50 range, 35 to 50, you're not going to hurt nothing really, right? What's up, Beber? What's up? Oh, he's a good boy. Here's Beber. Everybody say hi to Beber. I'm in a good mood. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Yeah. Stop peeing on my stuff, dude. Other than that, you're a perfect dog. And Ozzy, you're a good boy, too. Just stop peeing on stuff. Okay. Yeah. I know. You just want more treats. You're a whore for food, dude. All right. There it is. Bear, bear. There it is, Ozzy. All right. So, cool. Good day. Uh, happy. Tomorrow's a... Another great day. I'll get that radian if, if it shows up. And then we just ball to the wall, move forward uh, carefully, and uh, slowly build this pistol, 13.9. Another reason I really was kind of motivated. I know Nick sent me a message. He's like, dude, this is the third time he sent the same message. Don't sell the Gray Man build. That's a great, solid training platform you got there it's a it's good stuff it's built by sons it's a, it's a good trainer and i know i was like yeah i know i, I love it i love that gray man build i might just let go of the uh sons geisley build that was a passion project too but i'd be willing i'm probably gonna part out the rail well, i think nick still wants it we're, we're going back and forth a bit on what works I'm, i kind of want some cash up the trades are cool and all, but I kind of want to build up the bank a little better. I have, I'm have i going to have that BCM. I can throw the BCM on there as a standby since that we're doing the deal on, on the duck rail. So, you know, you know, it's a good rifle. I just thought maybe make one more move and see how it goes. That 13 bad, I'm not getting any bites on it. I might part that out. It's got all brand new, pretty good quality parts except for the bad lower. That's a bit mean to your shit, but uh, I figured fuck it. I stumbled onto that for a deal. And I was like, it was like reduced primary arms. I think the retail on that was like a hundred. I got it for like sixty nine, sixty eight dollars. I don't know. Just being a poor, saying, "All right, let's try it." All right, dude, stop. Enough. So that's it. Tomorrow's a new day. The Radian uh, snagged that bad boy up. Do an unboxing video. 
and then we'll assess all the parts together in one shot look at them figure out a game plan slowly get that built video the process obviously and uh, move forward I'm looking forward to it kind of want to stretch it out to enjoy it more because it's a special build to me Jake Merica the king of cringe pours finally gets into some decent shit I was like yeah it's a transition kind of thing man all right that's about it out of me I'll probably post another couple of videos tonight if I start tinkering and getting parts together I'm not gonna work on anything because after I've had a few beers later in the evening I'm up early these days so I'm up all damn day I'm up at like 5.30 every morning now. I have my coffee, the vitamins, and all that. and Eating healthier so I have more energy. I'm trying. I'm making an effort. Flex on the pores, bitches. Jake Merrick.